fans of the bold and the beautiful, get ready for an emotional ride. The man himself, John the Cook, who plays the iconic Eric Forrester, has given us the details on the latest heart-wrenching developments in Eric's life, and it's safe to say that things are getting intense. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. For the past two months, we have seen Eric Forrester's health getting worse and worse. I mean, he's struggling just to hold a pen, dealing with constant headaches, and now, he's even coughing up blood. It's like he's hanging on by a thread, and his family's bracing themselves for the worst. It's getting real, and it feels like Eric's running out of chances. He's on his last leg, and even his own family can sense it. But what is making this situation even scarier, is the recent episode on B&B. &B. All his health problems actually started when he decided he wanted to compete with his son, Ridge, to prove that he is still the greatest designer of all time. But this competition got the best of him. Now, while he did win the competition, and proved himself that no one can outdo him, many people started to take notice of his deteriorating health. So, to show that he is fine, even though he is not, Eric decided to throw a big party. But that took a toll on him too. On the recent episode of B&B &B on December 1st, Donna, played by Jennifer Garice, finds Eric collapsed on the floor at the Forrester Mansion. Donna springs into action to revive Eric. However, once he regains his strength, Eric insists on going along with the plans for a soiree. Given his dire diagnosis, the party becomes a way for him to bid farewell to his loved ones in advance. Donna, understandably, has a lot of concerns about Eric hosting a big party in his condition. But what's driving Eric's determination to charge ahead? According to John the Cook, it's about putting a positive spin on his life and celebrating his recent fashion competition victory with Ridge. He wants to celebrate that he won the competition with Ridge. He wants everyone to celebrate that with him, says McCook. And subconsciously, he wants them to stop seeing what he thinks they're seeing, which is his deterioration. Donna, standing by his side, understands, but tries to talk him out of such risky things. For me and for Jennifer Garice, this is really our love story. That's the story we're telling at the same time. It's been really wonderful for us to play our moments alone together, and to show our own vulnerabilities to each other. But, of course, drama is the bread and butter of B&B. &B. Eric hears Donna out, she expresses her concerns, but guess what? He disagrees and wants to go ahead with the party anyway. She knows this will drain him out both physically and emotionally, but as McCook said, he overrides it because it's so important to maintain his image to his whole family. But if that happened in real life to McCook, he said that he would probably do the same thing as well. My work is a very important part of my life, and going to Television City in Hollywood is one of the big joys in my life. So if I had that kind of a diagnosis and that kind of impending negativity in my health, I think I would try to ignore it and rise above it while I was in front of the people I work with, and while I was doing my work, I would try to overcome it. Eric has no clue that his health crisis isn't as hush-hush as he thinks. Turns out, more family members are in the loop than he can imagine. According to McCook, everyone knows Eric's sick, but he's blissfully unaware they know. And Eric's trying to throw this big party, thinking he's keeping up appearances, but there's a wild energy to it. McCook spills the beans, saying Eric's trying to overcompensate a little too much. He said that Eric is, a man who's so in control of his life most of the time, a designer that puts out a line that gets a big reaction in the press, and all over the world, he's used to having a positive reaction to what he does. Now, faced with his own mortality, he's desperately clinging to his usual positive spin. Just like McCook said, it is really getting alarming to see this usually strong and in-control man starting to lose it. Could this soiree really be it for Eric? Looks like it's hinting that way. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.